Attention everyone! The Federal Reserve just dropped a financial bombshell that's sending shockwaves through the economy, and it's something that's going to hit your wallet where it hurts. Get ready to brace for impact as the latest decision from the Fed is about to reshape the landscape of your finances like never before. Today's video brings breaking news. The Federal Reserve has opted against lowering interest rates due to a resurgence in inflation. Their press release stated, in recent months, there's been a lack of further progress toward 2% inflation. Additionally, the committee expressed the belief that it's not yet appropriate to reduce interest rates until they are more confident in inflation moving sustainably towards 2%. When the Federal Reserve eventually does cut interest rates, it will have significant ramifications across various sectors, including housing, stocks, cryptocurrencies, the economy, GDP, and the labor market. It's crucial to grasp the broader implications of this decision. Furthermore, there's a larger narrative emerging from the meeting and press conference, the resurgence of easy money. Beginning in June, this trend is expected to gradually unfold marking a notable shift in policy. The Federal Reserve, which, re, uh, which previously engaged in objective tightening to fight inflation by withdrawing money from the financial system, will now ease up on these efforts. Instead, they will reduce the monthly tightening from $95 billion to $60 billion, signaling a departure from aggressive inflation-fighting measures. The reduction in quantitative tightening, QT, is indeed a significant move, particularly in its implications for interest rates and the broader economic landscape. The Federal Reserve's decision to cut rates three times within a year signals a concerted effort to bolster economic growth in the face of various challenges. This strategy is part of a broader toolkit used by central banks to manage economic cycles, aiming to achieve stable prices, maximum sustainable employment, and moderate long-term interest rates. Central banks, like the Federal Reserve, utilize monetary policy tools such as interest rate adjustments and quantitative easing, QE, or QT, to influence economic conditions. QT involves the withdrawal of liquidity from the financial system by selling government securities or allowing them to mature, thereby reducing the money supply and potentially raising interest rates. Conversely, QE involves the purchase of securities to inject liquidity into the economy, aiming to lower interest rates and stimulate lending and investment. The decision to reduce QT is particularly significant given its potential impact on interest rates. Lowering interest rates is a common strategy employed by central banks to stimulate economic activity. By reducing the cost of borrowing, lower interest rates incentivize businesses and individuals to invest and spend, thereby stimulating consumption, investment, and overall economic growth. However, the relationship between interest rates and economic activity is complex and multifaceted, with various factors influencing the effectiveness of monetary policy. One of the key implications of lower interest rates is their inflationary effect. When interest rates are low, borrowing becomes cheaper, encouraging businesses and individuals to borrow and spend more. This increased demand can lead to higher prices for goods and services, driving inflationary pressures within the economy. Inflation, while necessary to a certain extent for a healthy economy, can become problematic when it exceeds a certain threshold eroding purchasing power and disrupting economic stability. The Federal Reserve's decision to cut rates aligns with its broader strategy of stimulating economic growth, particularly in the face of slowing global growth, trade tensions, and other economic headwinds. By lowering interest rates, the Federal Reserve aims to support consumption and investment thereby boosting aggregate demand and mitigating the risk of a more pronounced economic slowdown. However, this strategy 
is not without its challenges and potential risks. One of the primary concerns associated with lowering interest rates in a low inflation environment is the risk of fueling inflationary pressures. While moderate inflation is generally considered beneficial for economic growth, excessively high inflation can erode purchasing power, disrupt economic stability, and necessitate aggressive monetary policy responses. Therefore, the Federal Reserve must carefully balance its dual mandate of promoting maximum sustainable employment and stable prices when formulating its monetary policy decisions. Moreover, the effectiveness of monetary policy tools, such as interest rate adjustments, is contingent upon various factors, including the prevailing economic conditions, market expectations, and the transmission mechanism through which monetary policy affects the real economy. In an environment characterized by heightened uncertainty and volatility, central banks face challenges in accurately assessing the impact of their policy actions and calibrating their responses accordingly. Another consideration for the Federal Reserve is the potential impact of its policy decisions on financial markets and asset prices. Lowering interest rates can lead to increased risk-taking behavior among investors as they search for higher yields in a low interest rate environment. This search for yield can manifest in asset price bubbles, excessive leverage, and other forms of financial instability, posing risks to the broader financial system and the economy as a whole. Furthermore, the effectiveness of monetary policy in stimulating economic growth may be limited in the presence of structural impediments or long-term challenges facing the economy, such as demographic shifts, technological disruption, and structural unemployment. In such cases, monetary policy measures may only provide temporary relief rather than addressing underlying structural weaknesses within the economy. In addition to the domestic considerations, the Federal Reserve must also take into account global economic developments and their potential spillover effects on the U.S. economy. With increasing interconnectedness and inter interdependence among economies, developments such as trade tensions, geopolitical risks, and financial market volatility can have significant repercussions for the global economy and financial markets. In summary, the Federal Reserve's decision to reduce quantitative tightening and cut interest rates reflects its efforts to support economic growth and mitigate the risks of a more pronounced economic slowdown. However, this strategy is not without its challenges and potential risks, including the inflationary implications of lower interest rates, the impact on financial markets and asset prices, and the limitations of monetary policy in addressing structural economic challenges. Moving forward, the Federal Reserve must carefully assess the evolving economic landscape and calibrate its policy responses accordingly to promote sustainable and inclusive economic growth. The Federal Reserve's assessment of inflation, particularly the Consumer Price Index, CPI, and Personal Consumption Expenditures, PCE, inflation underscores the urgency of their decision-making. Despite efforts to contain inflation, both CPI and core PCE inflation rates have been re-accelerating, presenting a conundrum for policymakers. The Federal Reserve's traditional approach of using interest rate cuts to stimulate economic activity may prove counterproductive if inflation continues to surge critically analyzing the underlying factors contributing to inflation reveals a more complex picture than initially portrayed. While consumer spending has indeed bolstered the economy, data points such as GDP growth and personal savings rates suggest a more nuanced reality. The discrepancy between official narratives and economic indicators underscores the need for a comprehensive understanding of the current economic landscape. Amidst these developments, it's imperative to remain vigilant and discerning in our assessment 
of economic trends. The Federal Reserve's forthcoming actions, particularly regarding interest rate cuts, undoubtedly shape the trajectory of the economy in the coming months and years. As we navigate these uncertain times, it's essential to stay informed and critically evaluate the implications of monetary policy decisions on our financial well-being. In conclusion, the Federal Reserve's decision not to lower interest rates signals a cautious approach amidst rising inflationary pressures. While the prospect of easy money in the form of interest rate cuts and quantitative um, easing offers potential benefits for economic growth, it also poses significant risks in exacerbating inflationary pressures. As stakeholders in the global economy, it's incumbent upon us to remain informed, vigilant, and adaptive in response to evolving economic conditions.